Want to be happier? Ready to chow down on a three ingredient gluten free cookie? Dying to hear the confessions of a serial caregiver? If yes, then you're in the right place. June Klein, CSP, and Sandy Weaver Carmen created the Happiness Recipe podcast and website about a year and a half ago. Each week, they interview a different thought leader, author, entrepreneur, or talking wit about wisdom and wonderful food. And today, we're talking to them. Ladies, thank you for being on the show today. I'm excited to have you here. Thanks for the invitation. We're tickled. Good. <laughs> Honored and thrilled, right? That's oh, wow. Right. <laughs> My goodness. So listen, how did you two come up with the happiness recipe idea anyway? Oh, wow. Was there a margarita involved we that day? We were drinking again. And <laughs> <laughs> actually, we're... And you didn't invite me? I'm really hurt now. We were, Sorry. I think it was iced tea, actually. Oh, and, mm -hmm. uh, but we were at a Mexican... We were. Mexican restaurant and having a, a lunch. And shall I tell the story? Sure, should, you go ahead and tell the story. So you tell it better than I do. We're leaving, and you know how you just wonder what somebody's off to next. And I said, so what are you up to the rest of the day? And she said, oh, I've got to go to Moby's and put some music in the can for the show. And I said, oh my gosh, I forget that you have anything to do with radio because I only know and met her as a speaker. So I said, I have always fancied myself a radio personality because I knew that I had a face for radio <laughs> and she started laughing and you do not have a face for radio you're adorable and so we hugged and away we went and the next day she calls me and said how serious were you about radio and I said how serious do I need to be <laughs> because I've been doing radio since 1977 Right out of right out of the womb. Yeah, okay, right out of the womb. Actually, straight out of high school, <laughs> I got my first job in radio, and I've loved working on the radio. And then I I stopped working on the radio in 2008 and started a production company. And I've been thinking about having a podcast, doing a podcast, but I didn't want to do it by myself. And when June said something about being on the radio, the wheels just <laughs> locked. They're like, whoa, there we go. There's my opportunity. Yeah. So uh, now, is the show all about cooking? Actually, hardly about it's cooking at all. Cooking oh. at all. <laughs> it's wit, wisdom, and wonderful food. And we started off thinking it should be a third, a third, a third, but it actually is much more about wit and wisdom. And in the last piece of the conversation with each of our guests, we talk about their favorite food to either cook or a favorite childhood memory or some kind of food something. Mm -hmm. And we get a recipe from it. Right. So that would be the recipe piece of it. The real deal was coming up with the happiness recipe. What's yours? What's your personal recipe? So as we started talking about that concept, which was yours, coming up with a recipe, then it, it was like, well, then what would it be for us? And wit and wisdom came up, and I thought, well, you know what? If we're talking about true happiness, and food's got to be involved. It does for me. And so there we came up with the, the three W's, wit, wisdom, and wonderful food. And so oh. that's... Is food makes people smile, and their childhood memories sometimes will bring a tear to their eye as well. So mm -hmm. we've had some interesting conversations around, you know, I haven't thought about my mama's brown sugar brown, brown sugar, sugar pie. pie, and you know, tearing up there because it's been so long since they thought about it. So that ended up being what one of my friends calls a happy mistake, where we didn't realize the power that it would have mm -hmm. to talk about people's food, mm -hmm. that their their childhood memory. And then some people don't have it at all. They're like, ah, forget the kitchen and put in a pool table in there. Or right, something. right. Not like your kitchen, which is all that <laughs> Yeah, which is gorgeous. I heard you say in the intro you were talking about the three ingredient gluten free cookies. And it's the most amazing recipe. And the person who gave it to us, Lisa Pemberton, does not cook. Her mom was an amazing cook. She, as a matter of fact, that was, it was Lisa's mom who traded Christmas cookies and candies for services. Yes. In December, when she needed her hair done, she didn't pay for it. Oh. She just took a box oh. of confections. And that's how prized her cooking was in the little town she grew up in. Well, Lisa called her mom and told her about this three-ingredient cookie that she found. And her mom's like, yeah, right. <laughs> Diane, they're amazing. <laughs> it's peanut butter, sugar, egg. That's it. That's it. Cook it. I always have it. In so your it's home. gluten free too for people who you know. It's mm -hmm. obviously not for people who have a peanut sensitivity, but there are amazing cookies and they're so easy. My goodness. How yeah. are people using your book? Doorstop. No. <laughs> Weapon. Yeah. It turned out to be much bigger of a book than we intended it to be. We we just thought we were going to do this nice little book that'd be real easy for people to pick up and put down. Well, it's like. I don't know if you're familiar with the Uncle John's bathroom readers. <laughs> it's about that size. 
Wait, well, what's it about? It's 350 pages, and well, we transcribed the podcast oh. that we interview people. Uh, we post once a week, and we have amazing shows and amazing interviews about wit, wisdom, and wonderful food. So, on our anniversary of our first year, we started this thing Friday the 13th, September, uh, last a year ago, September, and she says, we need to celebrate. How are we going to celebrate being doing this a year? And I said, a cruise? <laughs> and she said, a book? And I was like, what? A book? So then we started talking about putting some of the, the best chapters in a book so that people could then have a recipe. Because some people would rather read than listen. Yes, that's true. And that's I true. really didn't think it would be as powerful and profound as it is. But when you can see people's words and their phrases, I'm like, oh, and this dated me. I said, this is embroideryable. <laughs> tweetable these and days. Tweetable. Well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Myra McElhaney, one of our authors, she said, we call that tweetable these days, June. <laughs> um, so it's so tweetable, and we just, it, it really turns out to be a powerful book. Now, how are people using it? I have one of my friends that is so excited. She actually made the first recipe and the first chapter, Joe Contrera, pizza breakfast. And what she said in her quote to me was, I have the opportunity to meet people that I would never otherwise meet and to learn about foods that I would ever, never otherwise know. That's pretty much what it's about. Yeah. Who are your listeners and, and where are they located? All over oh. the world. Really? Yes. <laughs> We're all over the United States. We've basically got that covered. And 38, 48 countries? Yeah, we're countries. almost 40 countries. Yeah. All over the world. Open and listen to Happiness Recipe. It's it's a movement. It's an international movement. That is awesome. Yeah. That's good for cool. you guys. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so when you ask people for their personal happiness recipe, what do they typically say? A lot of times they say, you know, I really had to think about that question. Mm -hmm. Or I've never thought about that before. We had uh, one guy, it was Neil, wasn't it? Who had a whole string of F words. <laughs> Neil and Family, Craig. fun, yeah. friends, um, financial, financial, famous. Yep, yeah. oh, a whole string of F words. So, but the but the kind you can have on the radio, it's okay. <laughs> the good ones, not the bad ones. <laughs> Most of them have something to do with with um, with family and with friends and mm. with their faith. Mm. Christine Cashin was very very creative with hers. She mm -hmm. made hers into a recipe. She's like, you know, one part of this and take two cups of that and hers was a whole, and a little pinch of this and season it well and hers was really good. Well, the first thing I remember she said, well, you have to be frozen and mm -hmm. that threw us. It was like frozen and it, then she referenced the song that's so popular now, oh, yeah. Let It Go, mm -hmm. Let It Go, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she went on with the rest of, of the, her, the recipe in recipe form, which we, we've, I don't know, 70, 80 mm -hmm. episodes in the can now. And we've never had anybody do that. So how creative and interesting people really are about their their recipe. So what is your own personal happiness recipe? Oh, see, I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> and I'm glad you did, though, because this is what's leading us to the next step. And we're, we're doing these salons now. We're inviting intimate setting conversations around happiness. And so our first one is coming up, and it is a about other people discovering and really knowing what their happiness recipe is because of what Sandy said. We're amazed at the number of people that have said, I really had to think about this or I've never thought about it. Okay, then that's a clue because most people are trying to be happy. But if you don't even know what it is for you mm -hmm. and the profoundness <laughs> Profundity. If, if that's a word for me was when I I took, um, what was Anthony Robbins? Remember all the words and we had to choose and rank what was most important mm -hmm. to you and I can still remember freedom, excitement, and adventure were my top three rankings. And then once you know what that is, you can start looking at your life and saying, okay, where is that supported? Where am I encouraging that? And what do I need to let go of in order to be able to do more of that? Right. Well, be surprised, I ride a Harley. <laughs> Freedom, excitement, adventure. Mm -hmm. It's like, duh! And I didn't put that together until way later. Knowing your personal 
the happiness recipe is extremely important. Yeah. And we're helping the world to figure that out. And right. our salon is called the Sustaining Happiness Salon. So, you know, we all have those moments of happiness where something just happens to us or we manage to make something come out exactly the way we wanted it and it makes us very happy for a fleeting amount of time. Right. But how do you sustain that feeling? Mm. So our salon is about sustaining happiness, not just finding your own personal happiness recipe, but figuring out how to make it fit in your day life, day to day, to day life. Yeah. And for me, my happiness recipe is creativity. If I don't have something creative to do or I can't find a creative way to do something, I don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can get really creative and pay the bills. <laughs> Compassion, mm -hmm. and my third C is crazy in a fun sort of way. But <laughs> but what that really is about is the same thing as June. Free. I have got to be free. Yeah. I've got to be. There's got to be a piece of freedom. Somebody can't be saying you can't do that because guess what? Oh, oh yeah. yes, I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yes, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> We're very much alike in that. Wow. In that way. That's the, that's one clue to your working together. Right. That you have the same mindset. Right. Yeah, that's great. So what have you learned by gathering all of these different happiness recipes? That the world needs us. <laughs> we really do need to spend as much time talking about the happy stuff, though it does not get the press. If it bleeds, it leads. And if you look at the world, where we are today, it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we just decided, you know what, somebody needs to lighten it up and decide to talk about some good stuff, but in a fun sort of way. So, so just whip it around. And instead of the world being bombarded with bad news all the time, we're trying to bombard the world with good news and happiness. Keep it up, that's all I can say. Thank you. And thank you so much for being here today. I've just been delighted to see both of you at the same time. How about that? <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's right. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. We've been speaking with June Klein, CSP, and Sandy Weaver Carman, creators of the Happiness Recipe podcast and website for the greater good and a great world. Thank you for joining us on GBDN TV and Business Notes. I'm Diane Bogino, bringing you business ideas you can bank on.